Why well, hello everyone, welcome to the video for this week. Uh, today we're going to be playing one of the five round standard championship qualifiers. Uh, versus limits, but it is constructed. Uh, we're going to be playing the four color mid-range deck and we won't be doing a, a walkthrough with the deck um, or breakdown that I usually do since next, or tomorrow I'm going to write about the deck. So, uh, But to kick things off, we're going to have to mulligan along with our opponent because we drew both our mana conflicts and that's the only lens we have. And this hand looks beautiful. We're able to go Temple Plenty, Mountain, Sylvan, Karyatid. Our opponent's already down to five. I wonder if he's playing Storm. I've been playing a lot of Legacy lately. Alright, Temple of Epiphany puts him on one of three decks. Odds are he's just regular Jeskai, but he could very well be the Jeskai Tokens deck, so. Uh, but we will just be keeping the Bloodstain on top since I want to be able to go. Uh, Runner Runner lands to play the Rhino or the Butcher, depending. Alright, so Seeker of the Way comes down. Now, one deck runs Mana Spider, one does not. And since uh, people do not change too many things about deck lists uh, off the bat, if we see Mana Spider, we can pretty much peg most of his deck. Let's get this Rhino down. Uh, if he does not play Mana Spider, if he does, we'll probably have to Crackling Doom. Always respect it, especially if your opponent only has three cards. Uh, here, I mean, we could play Corsair to uh, try to get free cards, but uh, I like hitting my opponent while he's down. Let's uh, just slam all of our threats. Next turn we can go Corsair. Um, gives us a better chance of uh, hitting all our line drops anyway. Uh, we have two cards in our yard, so let's just attack first. Uh, I don't want to butcher right into every, um, alright, yeah, I, I didn't want to butcher into Stoke the Flames just in case, but I, I don't mind doing Corsair into it, since we just have so many more resources than our opponent. I'd like one more piece of information just to see which uh, deck we want to sideboard against. That's going to give us a a very cheap uh, murder's cut, um, but I want to try to get him with this crackling doom. Uh, the whole thing about this matchup is pace, not race, because they aren't like a control deck; they're like a tempo deck. So. Now he's just going to try to pump his guy, and we just get a smooth two for one that just ends the game. And even though we could Wayfinder, I think getting another Corsair off the top of our library is great in case things go real bad. Alright, so. Alright, so he didn't really show us anything special, and as you can see, our sideboard has changed a little. Uh, four of the cards that used to be not Rabble Masters are now Rabble Masters. Um, that hurts some of our matchups slightly, but makes a lot of them better. I'm still trying to learn how to sideboard this deck before my article, so getting this video in is great. Um, sideboard with this, these new configurations. But so, against a, a Just Guy opponent, we're not going to want to touch a lot of our early game. And our our creatures back here are also very good. So um, now I don't know if he's the token deck, um, which means I don't really want anger uh, too much. But I do want to bring in a couple just as fail safes against some of their uh, problematic permanents. And the cards that tend to just be the weakest are the big all planeswalkers. We we just want all this early game. I I don't even mind having Seder Wayfinders because sometimes I can Wayfinder to find the, my mana for an anger. 
that still gives me lifelink from here. But uh, on the draw, I tend to board out some of our clunkers. Now, I'll bring these back in on the play, since they can be very good. But on the draw, this, this matchup can sometimes just come down to making sure I cast all my spells. Uh, we will keep this one, since it's very good against uh, early aggression. Second mana confluence is a little awkward, but we will be bottoming and hoping we find uh, a couple cards that help us smooth out these the double confluence that we just drew. Uh, you know, I could have thought these there, but um, all right. So he is playing the the combo version. put on top. Keep drawing lands. Uh, let's see what's up. And hope there's some creatures and not all just burn spells. Outburst, outburst, banishing light, stoke the flame, treasure cruise. Huh. Are we just gonna hope we can deal with one of these and let them? I'll just do take this and cruise is kind of a ways away. Since he didn't do anything, I think we're just going to have to lightning strike one of these, make him think that casting the other one's really good. We can't just let him keep doing us two. We have to make him up. I think we're scared of it. He kept a land on top? Or did we already know that? I don't think we knew. But... So his hand is Treasure Cruise, Stoke, and Ring. bottom there and we just have a bunch of removal so now we're just sitting back and hoping he doesn't get to treasure cruise next turn I guess he's gonna stoke us to cruise yeah we did not sideboard correctly oh, yeah he could just cruise Send our deck out a little bit and hope to draw something big. Make another crackling doom. There's an ascendancy that's really bad for us. As soon as you can start burning and looting. Alright. There is one of our reinforcements. Uh, it is just going to get oblivion ringed, but. So Stoke the Flames and Vanish Light are two of his cards. <laughs> he didn't feel like stoking us, which is great. Yeah, 
I can't believe this card isn't is is on non-creatures. It's so unbelievable on non-creatures. <clears throat> Alright, we're at the low, low life of 12, and we don't know how many burn spells our opponent has in hand. And we still don't have a regular black source, so that's not good for us. Can't wait to just bring Rebel Masters in on the play, now that we know exactly what matchup we're in. I don't mind him taking out our creatures, to be honest. And it looks to be that he does not have a ton of burn, so we're going to be able to have our Rebel Masters do a lot of work in this matchup. Um, the normal list don't even have a Lightning Strike or Magma Jet, so uh, it's one of the other reasons I brought Rebel Master in, but I didn't know exactly which matchup we were in because he mulliganed so aggressively, so I didn't know how to board. But now we do. So he's going for the combo kill. Let's uh, just try to lightning strike one of them here as a 1-1, one, one, and he has to play two spells. Okay, he didn't. Oh no, even more advantage. Yeah, we can get him just to flood out. 
Stoke the flames is lethal. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now let's just destroy him with, with Zedagos. Zedagos doesn't seem the best, but it's actually not bad. He's going full blown control. With just some like hoarding outbursts and stuff, like. Let's just get aggressive as well. Let's treat him like a control deck. We do have some lightning strikes to kill things. But <laughs> they also go to the face. Let's just play all our threats. And that seems perfect. <laughs> Even better. Alright, so we'll just play a Sylvan Carrotid. And hopefully we drown on top line just to slam a Butcher. We didn't, but we might draw it now. Uh, we didn't, and I don't think we want to play a Mana Confluence. They can just deal us a lot of damage. No, I think we want to stay curved up. So he definitely has a counter spell here, though. That sucks. I don't see any hand where he just goes Drago, 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 and goes untap here. Why are we drawing so much mana? I think I'm going to sandbag it just in case he brings anger. No, he would not bring anger in against this deck. If he has anger in against me, it's just like... That would be such a blowout. that on top. Might just think I have a bunch of control spells in my hand. Play Kranos. Don't play any hostilities. see any point in blinking. If he has two strokes, we're just kind of screwed. He also can just easily kill it. <laughs> Thank you, deck. We don't have much air in our deck, but we found it all. Well, he drew a lot of land. I'm 
Alright, so that he wants to, this to get stoked. Now this is getting stoked. I guess we need to offer up a rhino to a counter spell. Okay, well, he probably has end hostilities then, and I need to do this. Is it all just like enchantment base removal? I mean, I'm just, in case he has end hostilities, I don't mind sacrificing. Getting two for one from Stoked Flames. If this resolved. Oh man, he's just gonna combo me next turn. That'd be gross. No, there's the end hostilities. Oof, and if I draw untap land, he's dead. Scared him just combo killing me next turn, but I don't think. I mean, we didn't see any of that. Any of his in his deck. He had none of it in his deck game, too. I mean, he could for this game. Man, I just wish we could have drawn a land and killed him. Just sarkin them and hope we don't die. What do you guys think our chances of dying are? I think they're very slim. I mean, to be fair, you'd have to have three cards. But because we played Drago for so long and he didn't counter and do anything and he had end hostilities, maybe maybe that's a way to board after sideboard is just to have it after sideboard. Nope. Okay. Feel pretty good about not getting combo killed now. Feel good about winning this game now. So he has disdainful stroke up, but hopefully he doesn't have a negate. Or we draw land and it doesn't matter. Hmm. Alright, well, let's try to lightning strike him. Lightning strike. Bam! Bam, 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 bam. Had no clue what was going on, but we still won. Uh you guys can analyze that game in uh, in the comments below. Probably screwed up, but uh, with a matchup like this, you gotta assume that they're doing one thing or another. And since we didn't see any combo piece, we have to assume he didn't have it in his deck after sideboard. And so that's why I took all our removal out. And if we died to the combo, we died to the combo. But anyway, we got one win. We need three more out of four rounds to qualify for something I don't even know if I can play in. Let's see if I can do it.